So when was this building built? Ever? So the building was uh, built at the, in the 1930s. Never really saw a major renovation. We wanted to make the whole building more uh, student friendly. Right, and also accommodate the growth that we saw in the College of Engineering. So this will be a classroom. It was a heat transfer research lab. Classrooms moved down to the ground floor and first floor to have better student flow. To the right, you see some instances classrooms and in some instances instructional labs and additional maker spaces. Maker spaces are kind of built in with the curricular instructional spaces yeah. in the building. We want ME students to design and manufacture something at every seniority. Sophomore, juniors, and seniors. For that, we need the additional maker spaces, right? Uh, rooms where they can uh, build their designs that they uh, previously oh designed. It's, it's going to be exciting. So, Eckhart, how's construction going? Construction is going very well. Look. Uh, the studs are up, so the demolition is completed, but we're already starting up there with some drywall, but uh, we're already now in the construction phase. I expected to have completion by end of February of uh, 25, uh, and then we reoccupy, we're moving everything back into the building during the summer of 25. Fantastic. So uh, we're on the first floor of uh, the ME building now, and if you look to the back for just one second, do the breakthrough into the Gatewood wing mm -hmm. so that people have a little bit more access uh, to everything. There will be a landing, stairs coming down. Great outline of the spaces and how yeah. it's all student focus and stuff. Uh, but how does like, what about the other systems that you've had to yeah. change besides just the space? The whole HVAC system was old. If you, if you look at some of the walls, there were old steam radiators there, right? So we revamped the entire uh, HVAC system for the building, including brand new air handlers on the top. The other aspect that we're really focused on that we wanted to do is we want to be uh, more in the 21st century with respect to accessibility. So we now have bathrooms over there on every floor for male and females. A brand new elevator level to the outside. But because the outside is on the half floor, we actually have one door on one side and then doors on the other side uh, so that we can stop on the ground floor and all the way up to the third floor with providing appropriate access uh, to the building again. Oh wow, this is a pretty big and open space. Yes, it is. And in the original design, this was an open floor and they had steam engines in here and you can work on the chassis on the ground floor, ball on the first floor. Now uh, we reconverted this all to instructional labs. Right, The first lab that we just walked through will be uh, the heat transfer labs and then followed by uh, by the fluid mechanics labs next. And then we have multiple labs for our controls, uh, measurements and control sequence. Eckhart, this is amazing. Thank you for that tour. Um, I mean, I can see this is gonna be absolutely, absolutely transformational for any college of engineering. Uh, thank you for doing all this. At this point, I really would like to thank everybody who makes this happen, right? From, from Purdue administrations who helped out, but in particular, I really would like to thank our donors, right? We have received significant gifts uh, in support of the building renovation, and without their support, we couldn't make this happen. And also, don't forget, we have our best people working on this. I will show you, come on.